Hello. <laughs> um, I just put on my whitening strips because I want my teeth to be perfect. But you know what? If I have a little bit of a lip in, <laughs> in this video, it's because of the strips. Now, obviously, you can tell that my hair is kind of going through a bit of an awkward stage. I don't like too much. Um, and I really only have a few options when it comes down to styling my hair. Um, you can obviously tell that it's getting pretty significantly long here in the front. Right now, I think it's hitting like a little bit lower than my nose. And then in the back, I don't even know how long this is. I mean, maybe like getting close to the traps. And then my sides are like the shortest because I used to have a little bit of a mullet. So right now it's about not super long. Um, so that's why it's a little awkward because I'm trying right now. I'm in the process, which I'm, I think a lot of people are kind of go through this that are wanting to grow out their hair. Um, I'm going through the process of just growing everything out to the same length. And so it can be a little awkward and a lot of people can very easily look like a cocoa nut. Cute cocoa. But yeah, so to avoid the coconut hair or the coconut head, um, I'm gonna give you guys, I guess, the way I've been styling my hair with all of this madness. Um, Cause my ideal length that I'm trying to get to is more so like a little bit above the shoulders, but like more of an even length, like all the way around. So until I get there, kind of just have to style it the way that I can. And so I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how I think styling like the awkward stages of your hair could look like and I guess some cool products that I use to make it much easier to maintain. So let's get into it. I think just about everybody knows this, you should really be wetting your hair first because you can't style your hair dry. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Maybe I should take the hoodie off. All right. All right. Wet is hair. Hair is wet. <laughs> I am gonna put a little bit of moisturizer in my hair just because it makes it so much easier to work with. And my go-to right now is this hair moisturizer by Kraft. This video isn't sponsored, but um, this one's really good. I mean, there's a lot of argan oils and things that you can use, but this is just one that kind of smells nice in my opinion. And it gets the job done. So to avoid the coconut head, which I'm sure a lot of people do get when they're growing out their hair, you really want to make sure your sides are being kind of like pushed back and slicked back in some way. So that's kind of what I do. So first I'm going to go in with the blow dryer. I literally just put the moisturizer in my hair and then I go in and start blow drying. So let's do it. First, just blast it. Just get it like 50% dry first. All right, so again, we're not drying it quite yet, but we just wanted to get a little bit of that moisture out. So that's why we're doing like 50% first. And now we're doing one with the... Now, um, I think I have mentioned this before in another video, but I do have a, like a really, like my hair texture is just different on the left side of my head versus the right. And it also have like a little bit of a cowlick right here. So I have to dry this hair in that direction first so that it's not really like the leading Tower of Pisa on my head. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so right now I'm like at a 60, 60% maybe 70% dry at the moment. Again, there's still moisture in it. So now I'm gonna, this is when I start styling. I can hear the lisp in my in my, in my mouth um, because of this, just ignore it. I feel like I sound a little bit Argentinian or a little, little Spanish, but anyway. So my sides have just started getting long enough to the point where I can kind of get some volume into the sides. So I'm kind of doing this right now where I'm just taking the sides and just kind of doing this and doing the same thing on that one just to get the sides to like have a little bit of it's like just watch just watch I don't really know how to explain it. All 
Okay, so that, honestly, I kind of like it. It adds like a little bit of, uh, I don't really know how to describe it, but it just adds a little bit of volume on the sides and I kind of like it because it kind of falls with the top of my hair and it looks kind of cool. But um, this has been the technique for me lately just to get like pretty nice curtains, like a curtain hairstyle. Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys what that is right now. So basically what I do is this little action, which kind of creates a good little swoop in my hair, which I'll show you. It's kind of like just, you're kind of like going at it at an angle, going up and then down and kind of pulling it and it creates like a little swoop. And all you do is continue to do that and just dry it in the, and that's literally it. And it creates like a nice, like a swoopy kind of curtain vibe going. And then it just makes it look a little messy, but not really messy. So let me dry it completely. That way you can see the finished product. All right, again, ignore the water on my shirt, but all right, so that's pretty much it. I mean, honestly, you could either rock it like this or the way I like to do it because my hair is relatively thin. I like to put a little bit of hair styling powder in it. Now, right now I am using this one by Tribal Chimp, um, but um, just because I like the smell of it and I think it does the job really, really well, but there's other powders out there that you can use and they all do pretty much the same thing. But for the most part, this one is my favorite. Um, so I'm gonna put some of this in there and what it's gonna do is gonna thicken up my hair because my hair is thin, unfortunately, but um, yeah, and then it just, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna put this in. Not too much, because if you put too much in there, it kind of makes it more, uh, a little bit too heavy. So you don't want it to be heavy. You just want it to be a little bit thicker have some more texture in it and just for it to hold in place a little bit more. Now, I do switch off sometimes from like a clay or like a cream, but for the, since my hair's been getting longer, I have enjoyed the powder, so. And then I'll put a little bit in the back. All right. And that's pretty much it. So this is the finished product. Nothing too crazy, but if I could tell you guys how frustrating growing out your hair is, I mean, I wouldn't even know where to start with that because your hairstyle is just like, the way you style it changes so often because your hair gets longer and longer and longer and it's just, it's like awkwardly long and it's not like cut right, but whatever. I'm not complaining, but it is a hassle. Um, a little bit of a complaint there, but that's part of the process. So anyway, if you guys want some more ideas, more tips and that kind of thing, just feel free to reach out to me. Send me a DM on Instagram. I'll link it down below as well as some products that I've used in this video um, that you guys can check out too. So I'll see you guys soon. Um, yeah, have a good day. See ya.